Oh, my ape is bigger than your ape, son. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. The main event here. And today we're going to be using this team that I built myself. Uh, battles will be timestamped below. So if you want to skip me just going over the team real quick and going straight to the fights, timestamp below. Otherwise, what is the best anti incinerator Pokemon is the question of the day. That is the question of the day because we have Walking Wake and Nihilate on this team, which I think are probably the two best counters to incinerator in my opinion. Uh, walking away because hydro stream just kind of chunks it even in especially in sun because it gets the boost uh and also it's a four times resist to fire and the annihilate can't be intimidated or faked out which are two of incinerator's strongest tools um it also hits it for super effective with drain punch as well right so we have two ways to hit the incinerator um the annihilate and the walking work are both enabled by the whimsicott which has sunny day and beat up uh sunny day boosts the hydro steams boosts the flamethrowers and provides a special attack boost to walking wake uh, and the beat up provides rage fish boost to annihilate i was thinking about changing moonblast to something more supportive like misty terrain taunt or light screen to support the ape even more but it hasn't really come up to where i needed it yet so we'll see uh the flutter main is for more burst damage um it does the most damage on the team clearly because it's choice specs terra fairy and also benefits from the sun um sometimes i bring annihilate with whimsicott maybe flutter main in the fourth or Nia or whimsicott walking wake flutter main in the fourth as well sometimes depending what the, the matchup calls for, which you'll see in the video a lot. Ensign and Amoongus are the two big, two of the best supporters in the game. So we throw them on the team to support all this offense. And then you have a lot of good board control or redirection, fake out, and intimidate. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think of the team. Don't forget question today. Uh, best hand hand center Roman. Leave a like for your boy. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the first battle. All right, this is interesting for sure. Um, I could just lead the... What do they have that fakes me out, right? Like I could just lead the uh the wake here, right? It's 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 content time, baby. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead with the wake. Um I do think Buttermane is good here. And Amoongus is always good, right? Into like anything. So it might be worth bringing Amoongus. It could be worth bringing the Incineroar also. I'm trying to think what else is good here. Uh then there's the Annihilate. I think because I have the choice specs Pokemon, um, it's actually good to bring my Sin for fake out. This is interesting. I don't know what they want to go for here at all. I feel like I can just sunny day. And just hydro steam for free. It could be Terra Water, but let's make them click Terra Water. Okay, so this is probably a knockout unless they're Choice Scarf. Unless they're Choice Scarf, this is a knockout. Like even if they're Assault Vest, this, this is gonna KO. Okay, so that's this, that's a that's a dead Cleavor. <laughs> is this like Trick Room Gengar or something, or is this gonna just like Sludge Bomb into my uh, Whimsicott, which I'd be okay with. Dunk shot. It's physical. We'll take the trade. <laughs> we'll take that trade any day of the week. And we're faster with uh <laughs> We're faster. So yeah, this is definitely coming in. If my raging bolt is faster than the Gengar, my Fluttermane is definitely faster than the Gengar. So see what they bring in here. This feels like it's very safe dazzling gleam just to get the damage down. And then in case there's a focus sash, I think it's good for me to go for the hydro steam into this spot. Man, this this could be over quick if they don't have like a focus sash or defensive terra. So we know we're faster we terra first. Um because they have to be clicking terra this turn, right? They can't be saving it for anything. And if they have wide guard, I'm okay with that as well. Unless they go like wide guard gunk shot, then I then I could like lose. <laughs> but there's no reason you have anything on the team to click wide guard. Yeah, just get rocked. <laughs> just get rocked. <laughs> oh no, just get rocked. Gengar only survives because they're like max HP plus they resist. If they're that slow, they gotta be like max HP or something. They're very bulky. Hydro steam. That friggin' delay makes me feel like I missed a move, but the thing is that move can't miss, so. They gotta fix that. Curse body. It's okay. 
It's okay. It's all right. Life Orb Walking Awake is so strong, especially in Sun. And his design is so cool. Oh no, it's over. You can't tear out of both moves. So. <laughs> oh, Hydro Team is disabled, actually. Shoot. Um, Draco. <laughs> Draco, oh, they quit anyway. <laughs> that was so quick. They, they didn't want no smoke. They just got rolled over, son. <laughs> Sit. Roll over. Okay, so they have original form uh, Raikou. You know what? I think I'm actually going to lead my uh, Annihilate here in Whimsicott. And then the Incineroar in the back could be good for a couple of things. Maybe not their Annihilate. Um, maybe not the instant actually, and then maybe the flutter main. Yeah, I think the flutter main is actually probably necessary. Let's do that. I need the damage output because they could also have beat up Rage Fist, and I don't want that to uh to smoke me. <laughs> oh, but mine are shiny, so that means we're better. That means we're better. I need to tear a water just in case. If he's tearing normal, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I tear it. I maybe tear it first. So I'm faster. If he tears, that means I'm faster. And my Whimsicott is, uh, he just didn't go for it. That's crazy. He's gonna give me the ape. That's not enough. He's, that's not enough at all. What? What was the what was the play there? Oh, my ape is bigger than your ape, son. <laughs> Get that monkey off my zoo. And they got no damage down this turn. Now, if they bring out the Raikou, I'm fine with that. Unless they have Discharge, which could be annoying. If it's Raikou, I'm just going to go into my... um. Yeah, this is to be expected. Air Balloon Raikou, huh? Um, yeah, oh, oh, nope. I go into the... This is why I brought this, right? <laughs> this is exactly why I brought this Pokemon. Oh, they just quit. <laughs> they knew it was over, son. Oh my gosh, they knew it was over. Okay, this team is not fire. Um, So just by that, I'm just going to leave like Whimsicott and Walking Wake because you guys want to see Walking Wake. So I'm going to bring you Walking Wake. Uh, I'm bringing that. And then I'm going to have the Incin for sure. I think that Incin is good here. And then I think a Moongus is actually really good also instead of the Fluttermane. Uh, but then I lack some damage, right? If I bring that instead of um this. Yeah, I think with Sun Up, with Sun Up, this is fine. Take a ton Palafin. Oh, this is a uh, glorious. I can just sunny day. Um, who wants to switch into a, an attack on that side? Not really anyone, to be honest. I the player is not gonna do that much damage. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for the flamethrower here, though. Who are they clicking Terra on? What does this do for you, son? <laughs> I'm not going to get Draco into that spot. What do you have? Ice Punch? You have Terra Blast? <laughs> Yo, if you have Terra Blast, you're the GOAT. If you got Terra Blast, you're the GOAT, son. Draco. 
Dreamy kiss. You're not the goat. You suck. <laughs> You're not the goat. You suck. I'm sorry. You're not the goat no more. <laughs> oh, you're not the goat at all. You suck. I'm going to bring that in. Do I just Hydro Steam over there? No, the, the minus one is perfectly fine. Um, I do Hydro Steam, but the minus one is enough. I don't need to click Terra. Let's save it. Cause then, cause then they bring out guard chomp and now I have two ground weeks. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. All right. So whoops a cot, whoops a cot. You leave the field. You set up the sun. That's all you have to do. Shiny incineroar, baby. Own tempo. Oh no, it's own tempo. I should have covered for that, right? Oh, never mind. I'm too nice. I, I, I predicted the switch. I predicted the switch. Is this gonna be like a, a protect? This is also why I didn't Terra. What is um what is Tinkerton's speed? Cause they could have a faster fake out than me, right? Oh, it's base 94. Their fake out was unequivocally faster than mine. So I have to consider that. I'm never gonna go for like party shot. Go goat. You want for the go goat? I'm still gonna switch. Um, just to be safe and just protect. Because I can just uh get off a free um a free tailwind and then drop like Draco into that spot if I want to, or I could like watch out for a Tinkerton switch. So I'm not gonna um go for anything too insane on this turn. Like a parting shot is greedy. I don't need that right now. And I could just protect and get in the resist. Then I could like go and see if they go for something like a, a earthquake or if they're going to go for a stomping or if they're going to go for a dragon claw. It's special. It's a special. That's insane. Um, let's go for a tailwind here. I'm going to drop the Draco. Actually, I think the damage is just more important than dropping a Draco. Nah, because that could just sweep with a uh, Fluttermane. It's fine. Yeah, I'm overthinking it. Just kill. Just drive this Draco down in their heads. Yeah, <laughs> let's just get it off the field. You know that Pokemon stinks. And now they hit me with the solar beam. Who cares? The bulk up does not save you at all. That just gets you smoked even faster. Because you didn't get no damage down this turn. Maybe you have clear amulet. Maybe you don't. <clears throat> Guess who doesn't care? Me. Click Moonblast here. Um, then they click Solar Beam. Why do they have bulk up now? Uh, I can smoke the uh, Tinkerton with this. I, I can switch this out and get rid of the defense drops because no point in just like giving them the Pokemon for free, right? They can click fake out and then click something to maybe knock me out. Yeah, that makes the game longer, but also makes the game much more reliable for my partners. Did you catch that into in, in, in the reliable partner? Reliable for my partners. I know I'm too slick, but uh, <laughs> Moonblast does nothing. Special attack drop is probably important. That is nothing because the center is too good. <laughs> Soul beam into my Ensign. <laughs> they did 69 damage this turn. Very nice. Uh, same thing going back up and then Flare Blitz into this. Have they clicked Terra yet? I don't know if they have, but don't care. Once they drop this fairy typing, um, walking weight just kind of dominates anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
I gotta do the parting shot so I'm here, but I just think Sunny Day Field Base is fine. It'll just kill. It'll kill or it'll force the Terra. I think that's AV Tinkasun. That hammer is so cool. Yeah, that thing's done. That thing's done. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Holy smokes. Leech Seed, son. Are you kidding me? It's fine. Um, I'm going to get this out for the week. And I'm going to label it just to win the game. But they might have Protect Leech Seed, right? So it, it makes sense for me to um to get it another threat. Just so I can make sure I smoke this thing. Walking Wake is such a cool design, man. Oh, no. Well, it's, it is plus one. It doesn't matter. Incineroar is the one. <laughs> the one. Get that Pokemon off my screen, son. Oh, no. The only way to knock out Incineroar is for Incineroar to knock out itself. But GG's well played to my opponent. Good job, Mac. Okay, so this is nice. The reason that it's so nice is because they're going to set the sun for me. And setting the sun for me is awesome. Because I'm going to go with this um, for my own Tailwind. And I think I'm going to go with my own um, Walking Wake. But then I can like bait out their moves, right? And see what they go for. Um, They don't have any speed control. Maybe my own Flutter Mane. I could bring in my... uh this right here but i think it might be safer to have this i feel like fake out and intimidate might actually come into play in this match interesting um I think Tailwind is fine here. And I think Protect is probably optimal just to see if they're going to go for follow me stuff. See if they pop any Terrors, which they don't. Did they go for follow me? Did they go for Dazzling Gleam. This is not the right play. Um, and they're not Booster. They're probably Specs. And if they go for Ivy Culture into Whimsicott, which it would have been ideal to be honest. All right, so I don't think I need to. Um, I think I actually get Sunny Day up for free. I don't think I need it though. I can save it for later. I can just get this in. Um, go for my Steel Terra. I think I'm gonna Hydro Steam this. Uh, it does have that sturdy ability and I don't want to deal with that by doing this I can bring it down to its sturdy then I can fake out or fortune to protect but either way it can no longer redirect me when I attack the flutter main the following turn we know it can't be clear amulet because it has to hold the uh the rock mask and that flutter main I really think is going to be specs well, let's see how much it does to my incinerator. They don't even go for the follow me, um, which is fine. That's good damage. That just doesn't bring it down. They're really bulky for it to not bring it down to um to sturdy. That has nothing to wake or incinerate for real. There's nothing to us. A fake out here, um, and then hydro steam into this spot is probably safe. We need to get some more damage down. <clears throat> Who is this? Raging Bolt does take the water spot, the water move really well. This is 
fine. I can live with this. I can definitely live with this. Especially if it does like 30%. Like 25. I am doing some damage to myself though, which is unfortunate. Um, You know what though? Actually, I have a great idea. I'm going to party shot onto this. They could knock out, but if they knock out, it's fine. Who cares? I'm going to get the flutter minion on this side. And ideally, I get this party shot off and I bring in the Whipsicott. And then I have um, Dazzling Gleam Pressure with Sunny Day to boost me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you ain't clapping nothing. Oh, we have Tailwind up. We're faster. I have to start thinking about this stuff. When there's no like real stakes on the line, I tend to like forget about stuff on the field because I don't check as often as I would like during a tournament or like just a, any kind of tour. Um, so yeah, the plan was to bring this in. <laughs> Whimsicott should actually, no, it probably doesn't take this, does it? Yeah, it takes this. It's for, uh, low sweep. What? <laughs> Get red like a book, son. <laughs> Get, oh, Tailwind Peter's out. Guess who doesn't care? Sunny day. Dazzling gleam. Everybody gets to go home. <laughs> Send everybody home, son. Everybody gets to go home happy. All right, so this should KO both Pokemon. Yep, <laughs> for the main, for the main, for the main. I don't know the rest of the song, but shout out to uh, shout out to Andy Love VGC, the homie. All right, so they have what in the back? Um, they have their own Flutter Main, and I didn't see their fourth. Oh no, it's Landorus. Flutter Main to go main in a time ball is pretty interesting. So I think I just clicked Tailwind. Um, yeah, they could go for like Shadow Ball, but who cares, right? Well, let me check the Tailwind turns. Uh, Tailwind did Peter out. Okay, fine. Let's click Tailwind. Um, that's what he was going to do so much damage into both of them. Like, I don't even necessarily need to knock out both Pokemon. I would like to. I would like to, but I would just like to knock out one. But even if I don't, what are they going for? Terra Fairy? Terra Fairy could be interesting. Could, could make it rough. Are they also going for Dazzling Gleam? That's interesting if they do. That's great damage. That's all we needed. This is all we needed. That is all we needed. Stone Edge is crazy. Because you could have missed. Stone Edge is a crazy choice to make right there. Place on the left. But that flood of me is choice specs, so I'm gonna kill it this turn. Or do I wanna kill Landorus? No, a fake out might kill Landorus. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna fake out into this. And this Hydro Steam into this. This will KO with Protosynthesis plus Life Orb plus Stab plus Sun Boost into Hydro Steam is going to do nuclear nuclear levels of damage <laughs> into this Flutter Main. It's actually going to smoke them. They're thinking about what they want to do here, but I don't think either Pokemon has Protect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it doesn't kill the Lando. It's fine. Hydro Steam kills the Flutter. And then we are going to kill the Landorus next turn. Maybe they forfeit. Maybe they don't. Um... Let's see how they play it out. But we, these are some good games we got with this team. Um, some really good games. Especially for a team that I don't feel is necessarily like super optimized. But it gives you options. Uh, fake out. No, fake out. I'm, I'm trolling. Why would I click fake out? <laughs> no, fake out. Let's click fake out just to rub it in. <laughs> they canceled. Yeah. <laughs> we take that. He will play to my opponent. Shout out to that trainer card. Look at, look at 
at that gold, son. All right, so this is interesting. Um, I need to actually think about this. This team looks really dangerous. I could lead like my own flutter main. I could leave my own flutter main. I could leave my walking wake terra steel. But you know what? It doesn't do any damage at the premier arena, right? I think we go with this. Yeah, I think we go with this. Um, and then what do I do in the in the return when I have to go after them? I think I need to have my ensign. And then it's a matter of what do I have Amoongus or do I need the flutter? I think having my own flutter is actually preferable. The yeah, Amoongus is really good. The problem is that I want to be able to um I want to be able to still do damage in case the annihilate doesn't work. I don't know if this is some kind of like, but they're both in a really bad spot. They're booster special attack. Yeah, we're gonna go with this because I don't know what the Delphox wants to do, but like it probably has Psy Shock, right? So we're the only ones to Terra um, because Delphox and uh, Fundament are both faster. It could just be a Protect, right? And I don't, I'm okay with it just being Protect because Protecting what? He hit me for some damage and then I just left over recovery it off. Yeah, like I'm okay with this because they, you can't do that much damage to me with the. Uh, the Delphox. I was thinking about attacking that spot, but I just don't want to leave the Flutterman to click Terra Fairy, like Moonblast into me, get like a crit or something stupid. So that's four hits. Um, so we like 250 base power now. Heat Wave. As long as you don't burn, I'm good. Perfect. Nothing that sw nothing switches in here that safely into this. So Tailwind is very safe. I'm still gonna Ray Trace because they could bring in Roaring Moon, right? But what happens is if they bring in the Roaring Moon, um, the following turn, because Tailwind is up, I can Moonblast into it and then also Ray Trace into it. If this is Flutter Main, I don't not, if you just wasted your Terra. It's Delphox, you still wasted your Terra. Why'd you go for Terra Normal now? I'm not attacking that spot. Like I'm never attacking that side of the field. I'm never attacking that side of the field. So pop goes the the, the flutter. <laughs> Dead flutter main. Um, I think they made a mistake letting me get off the tailwind and the beat up. That's really bad for them. Now they're fishing for burns. They're probably like choice packs or something. Who do I bring in? Uh, an Incineroar? Yes. I have my own Flutter main, which is actually probably better. Yeah, it's probably better to be honest. I could do Fake Out, but that's gonna like let want, lead them to like Fish for Protects when I could potentially just win the game right now. Yeah, this is really bad for them. Um. Dazzling Gleam, you can't Terra, so that thing is just gonna get KO'd. And I'm just gonna Drain Punch into this. Dazzling plus Drain Punch will KO the Delphox. Maybe I'll make a Delphox video one of these days because clearly people not using Delphox the right way. Dazzling Gleam is such a crutch. There's so many times with Flutter Mate where I just don't run Dazzling Gleam because like, it takes you out of like thinking about your targeting. You just click it and just get damage on both Pokemon no matter what, <laughs> which is a good thing to have, but it's good to also practice your targeting. Uh, They lost Flutter, they lost Roaring Moon. What could they have left? Primarina maybe? 
that thing could click protect um but i'm actually gonna go after it because i don't think the uh the thing could do anything to me yeah they quit they, they knew they knew what time it was um yeah that's gonna be the, the video look at that gold son <laughs> um question of the day what is the best anti instant pokemon um could be annihilate annihilate's really good as you can see in this video um so is the rest of the pokemon like walk away as you saw in this video as well uh, let me know if you want to see me do some more videos with this team. Let me know what you're thinking of Regulation F when it like when it starts. What are your predictions? All that good stuff. I'm just rambling because I just recorded like five battles for you guys. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like for your boy. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you if you are, are not new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.